Well, good morning. Barely. It's pretty late. Um, as I updated on the video yesterday, if you didn't catch that, go back and watch yesterday's video because ended the night at 3.30 in the morning <laughs> after the time change. So we had a hour forward last night, so I went to bed around 2.30, which was actually 3.30. Uh, we shut the bar down at the local, which is I think the latest bar that's open on the ship, and I believe they're open until 3.00. So yeah, they, they were shutting down when I left um, and I was not the last one to leave. <laughs> um, but it was a really fun night, we had a good time. I won't recap all that, but you can go back and watch that video to see what I got up to yesterday um, in our last port day in Iceland. And so we are now crossing between Iceland and Norway, heading to Norway. It is a sea day today. It is crazy foggy outside. You can't see anything hardly. Um, I have my microphone connected and I hope that you are not picking up the creaking noise that is coming from my balcony area. All right, I'm recording this just to show you the creaking sound. It's coming from up here. As you can hear, it's constant. It does not let up unless the ship is stopped or moving really, really slowly and not moving side to side at all. So not the best <laughs> situation for me, but I will suffer through it because I have amazing earplugs and I don't travel without them. So I'll get by. Last night, I'm pretty sure my update <laughs> <laughs> was like drowned out by the sound of this creaking in my cabin because the ship is rocking quite a bit. The there's it's windy outside. All the outdoor areas have been closed on the ship since like yesterday afternoon. At some point we rolled into some pretty bad weather. Around the time I went to dinner at 8 p.m., um, the outdoor areas had been closed off. Today's a sea day and luckily because I'm exhausted, um, I've been like just lounging and laying in bed for the last hour or so just trying to decide what to do today. I'm thinking about heading to the spa, but I did want to give you some information on the Norwegian Prima Spa. I've got the um, navigation channel on here behind me. Just uh, looking at our course as we track across to Norway. So the spa on Norwegian Prima is beautiful. It's beautiful, but it, it there are some quirks. I guess that's the way I would put it. For one, when I go to the spa, I like to just lounge, relax, read, um, and then occasionally hop into the steam room and the sauna. But, but on other Norwegian ships, all of those things are located close together. So you have like lounge chairs all in the front and then behind you, you have like the row of treatment rooms, the salt room, the steam room, the saunas, that kind of thing. But on the Prima, they are located quite a distance from the relaxation lounge area. So if I wanna put my stuff down and go hop into the steam room and the sauna for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I feel kind of bad leaving my stuff in there, but I also don't wanna take my stuff because I wanna come back to that spot and use that spot for an extended period of time. So it's just a little bit trickier, just the way that the spa is laid out. It doesn't flow as well as the other spas. And the other thing that is was a very poor design choice, <laughs> I just don't know what they were thinking, but the, gymnasium is directly above the spa relaxation lounge so like the treadmills are directly above the loungers and let me tell you when i was in there the other day thump 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 constantly and it, and if you've seen any of my previous videos where i've mentioned certain noises bother me um, I have a, it's called Misophonia. If you've never heard of it, do a, a quick Google search, but certain sounds just really trigger my like <laughs> fight or flight panic reaction. So I had very luckily brought my AirPods with me, but even they did not, even with music on, 
they did not drown out the thumping sound above the relaxation lounge, which is unfortunate. I don't know how people handle it. I don't know how they deal with it without headphones or earplugs. And so it's either that <laughs> or the creakiness in my cabin, which I absolutely have to wear earplugs to drown out because it's loud. So I think that's that's my plan for today. I really don't have anything else, you know, planned out. Sea days, not good weather, so just lounging and relaxing. But I am hungry, like it's it's, it's like 11.15, so breakfast is shutting down in most places and lunch will be starting up pretty soon, but I'm kind of in that weird middle, middle time frame where there isn't a whole lot of food options. But, oh, the captain did come on the speaker this morning at around 9.45, and I should have recorded it, but I, I didn't. Um, and he just gave us a lot of information about the arrival into Geiranger tomorrow, our first port in Norway. And it's supposed to be absolutely beautiful and scenic. And we're gonna pass by the Seven Sisters waterfall this uh, tomorrow morning, but it is right at the time where I think I have a spa appointment booked. <sighs> Why does this always happen? He did say that on our departure, we will go very, very slowly again by it and potentially even make a 360 degree turn so that everyone can see the waterfalls. If that's the case, I will be able to see it in the evening, assuming it doesn't conflict with <laughs> my dinner reservations. Fingers crossed. It should be an, a really scenic and beautiful arrival tomorrow morning in Geiranger. For now, I am going to get myself up and ready and head out of this cabin for a few minutes and get some nourishment. <music> So I'm trying to go to eat at the local, but they have a wait. I don't know, 15 minutes maybe. They offered for me to sit outside. <laughs> um, I didn't dress for that. And it's windy, so yeah, I'm not gonna eat outside, but I'll just wait and hang out. People are dressed in like jerseys and stuff all over the ship, so. Um, but the outdoor areas, I guess, are reopened um, and the fog is lifting. I can actually see some sky sneaking, peeking through. Um, might be a good time to do some whale watching, but yeah. So I'm just going to wait to eat for now. Alright, the weather is definitely clearing up out here. It's not quite as windy as it seemed to be. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's just little patches of blue sky where the clouds seem to be lifting. So it looks like we're heading in the right direction. <laughs> so it looks like the slide is open. The one right above me. And someone just came down and screamed the whole way down. It was funny. <laughs> All right, just got back from eating at the local and um, the wait was really long actually for a table. I went and sat on the other side because the way that they have the local set up on this ship is there's like the restaurant with, with tables on one side and then the bar area on the other side. So I went and sat at the bar for a while with my book and like my table never got, my buzzer never went off so I was like, you know what, I actually can order food right at the bar, though it's a much more limited menu. So I ended up just getting a couple of snacks at the bar and finished my book. And let me tell you, I'll put it up on the screen, but do not read this book in public because you will be a sobbing, crying mess. And I was like reading this book, trying to hold back my tears because it's such a tear jerker. Like the whole, the whole book is you just want to sob the whole way through it. Amazing book. Incredible author. Loved every single page. So well written. It's Vietnam War era and I loved it, but it was so sad. Um, <clears throat> emotional. So anyway, weather is fine. It doesn't look like it's raining. It definitely looks like there's, you know, it's clearing up a little bit. When I stepped outside, earlier to check out Ocean Boulevard area on deck eight. I mean, it felt fine. It was warmer, so the temperature is okay. I think I'm just gonna put like a heavier 
sweater on. Keep me a little bit more protected, maybe my hat. And then go out there and just sit out for a few minutes and enjoy the rest of my drink that I brought back with me from the local. And then it's going to be time for dinner before too long. It is almost 5 o'clock now. I do not have any dinner reservations tonight, so I think I'm just going to go to Hudson's, which is the other main complimentary dining room. So I'll be able to have a view out of the windows. But it's been a, such a lovely, chill, relaxing, cozy sea day with three more very busy ports coming up next. It's nice to have this like one sea day break in between. For this itinerary, we only have two sea days, but they're evenly split. So we have three ports and then sea day today. And we have three more ports in a row in Norway. And then we have another sea day. And then we have Amsterdam and Belgium as our last two ports. So looking forward to that. Tomorrow morning, we're not arriving into port until at least 11 o'clock in the morning. The sail in is going to be lovely for what I will be able to see of it. All right, let's get back to some reading. Guys, heading down to Hudson's now. It's 8.33, did pretty good on time, and I just hope that they have a table available and there's not too long of a wait, and I'll actually be able to eat there and see something out of the beautiful view um, at the dining room. So, all right, I'm heading out now. so much yes even though the sun never really sets right oh it's beautiful is the perfect time to come to dinner because I got the most amazing seat facing the back of the ship and I can just see the sunset directly in front of me. Unfortunately, it's the menu that I don't like. There's like nothing on this menu that I'm particularly excited or <laughs> about or fond of, but it's fine because I can always find something. So we'll have to see what I decide on, um, but you can't beat this table and you can't beat this view, so I'm not gonna. So while the dining room is emptying out and they're getting ready for breakfast tomorrow morning, uh, I'll give you my thoughts on dinner tonight. So, a little disappointed in my pasta. It was undercooked and the flavor just wasn't there like it has been on previous cruises, the same dish. 
So, oh, I think um, it's been well documented that Norwegian is getting back on food costs by almost 30% is what I've heard, maybe more. And I've been able to tell because the last time I was on Prima, the food was the best I had on any ship before that. But this time, I'm seeing the peace, and the quality is definitely down, um, which is unfortunate. But again, I've only ever cruised Norwegian, so I'm comparing these meals with Norwegian. So when I go on Holland America for my next cruise coming up in about a month, I'm going to compare to Holland and just see what the current state of cruising for Norwegian compared to Holland. For example, mm -hmm. how it compares, because I was a little bit disappointed tonight, and this is supposed to be the better of the two complimentary dining restaurants, and I understand that it's included and it's complimentary, so no, I'm not expecting specialty dining quality, but I'm certainly expecting decent quality food, especially for a ship that's brand new, well, relatively speaking, and one of the best in the fleet and the most advertised and marketed. And I just have not felt the quality is there um, lately. So I'm going to be straightforward. I'm going to be honest. I still ate the whole thing. I would never send food back unless they literally sent me the wrong dish. <laughs> um, so I ate every single bite. And I still, it was fine. It just wasn't good. It wasn't great. And I have had better on Norwegian, which makes me qualified to say that I know that the quality is not there, not the way that it used to be. So that's my observation, my perception on tonight's dinner, and it's unfortunate, but not every meal is 100, and maybe tonight was an off night. It is later in the evening, so maybe I just got an end-of-the-day dish that just wasn't maybe what it would have been at 6 o'clock. So... Anyway, I was just sitting here enjoying this gorgeous sunset, which is still just hovering golden in the sky with no clouds and incredible aft view. Doing a little bit of reading, and uh, I'll probably head out here in a bit once uh, everyone starts, you know, leaving the dining room and it starts emptying out. I want them to be able to finish setting it up for breakfast tomorrow morning. But I don't know that I can beat this table again. <laughs> amazing, amazing view. Down, 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 and the flame went higher. 